The German term Junkerschule or Junker School was introduced in 1937 in honor of the Junker aristocracy that once dominated the Prussian military. These Junker schools were leadership training facilities for officer candidates of the SS. Training at these schools provided the groundwork for employment with different German state security and military organizations. As part of an effort to professionalize their officers, the SS founded a leadership school in 1934. The first one was at the Bavarian town of Bad Tölz. Established under the leadership of General Paul Hauser. Hauser's military experience in World War I and detailed knowledge as a retired Army Lieutenant General was leveraged by Heinrich Himmler in developing the curriculum at Bad Tölz and other training centers. To his staff, Hauser added other experienced military veterans and gifted officers to build a training regimen that became the foundation for the Waffen-SS. Training an SS officer took as much as 19 months overall. Much of the training concentrated on small unit tactics associated with raids, patrols and ambushes and encompassed additional skills like map reading, tactics, military maneuvers, political education, weapons training, physical education, combat engineering, and even automobile mechanics. Political and ideological indoctrination were part of the syllabus for all SS cadets, but there was no merger of academic learning and military instruction like that found at West Point in the United States. Instead, personality training was stressed, which meant future SS officers were shaped above all things by a National Socialist worldview and attitude. Instruction at the Junker schools was designed to communicate a sense of racial superiority a connection to other like-minded men, ruthlessness and toughness that accorded the value system of the SS. Throughout their stay during the training, cadets were constantly monitored for their ideological reliability. The SS spared no expense in building the school. Facilities included a football stadium surrounded by an athletics track, a building for boxing, gymnastics, ball games, a heated swimming pool and a sauna. It is postulated that the merger of the police with the SS was at least partly the result of their shared attendance at the SS Junker schools. By 1945, more than 15,000 cadets from this training institution were commissioned as officers in the Waffen-SS. In March of 1945, instructors and students from the school were used to set up the new 38th SS Grenadier Division Nibelungen. The division never achieved anywhere near full divisional status. In fact, the division only reached the strength of a brigade with about 5,000 men. Divisional units such as engineer, recon and medical companies only reached platoon strength. From April of 1945, the division withdrew from the advancing French and American units, first to Neustadt and then to Dachau. Since the installation could not be completed, the units of the division were in almost constant retreat. The division finally surrendered to US Army units on the 8th of May 1945 in the Bavarian Alps. After the war, US General George S. Patton took over the office of military governor of Bavaria 
and temporary route from the Bad Dirt's Junker School. In memory of a fallen friend, he renamed the former Junker School as the Flint Barracks. Until the withdrawal in 1991, the Flint Barracks, in addition to an engineering school, was also an important European base for the Special Forces, commonly known as the Green Berets. The barracks no longer exist in their original architecture, as the buildings had only partially survived. The sporting facilities, including a football stadium and the building used as gymnasium, boxing and ball games, as well as a sauna and heated pool, the cinema and the archway over the main entrance no longer exist. Nevertheless, the exterior and the layout of the former barracks are still largely recognizable. However, the buildings inside are completely remodeled as the city started a large-scale transformation from the late 1990s.